situations of we say that situation it probably rain today or I may go for shopping or he is current probably we use this kind of sentences sometimes actually it is probably what is the meaning of probably the meaning of probably is nothing but it may happen or may not be happen it's telling about the uncertainty so for example they have taken a coin and they toss a coin and we say that it may occur tail or head then this is called the uncertainty and this kind of uncertainty is called probability so we discussed earlier it may rain today so we don't know about the situation today it may rain or not it may have happened or may not be happened so this says nothing but probability and another situation today I may, I may go for shopping so it may be or may not be that is a possibility to go for shopping or there is other possibility uh, I may not go there so it's an uncertainty totally we understood from here is that kind of event or the situation is going to happen or not maybe happen or may not be happen this kind of uncertainty is called as probability today we are going to discuss about the probability and the probability we have some of the things when we have taken an experiment an experiment is nothing but we are doing one the thing or work is called an experiment we can say that it may be it, it may be tail or head so we get a tail sometimes we get a head we don't know what what is the result, what is the outcome can come and then we don't know the thing, what will happen with that so this kind of things is called, this kind of event it's nothing but it's kind of experiment is called as random experiment for example there are some of the different color balls in a basket like red blue and green three colors there are three colors and uh, without knowing we have taken one of the ball from basket we may get red or green or some other color from it so we don't know what what color ball we get from the basket so this kind of experiment is known as random experiment that even it may happen anyone from it it may be some of the event like it may happen with a coin of a tail or a hat or in the case of basket uh, different colors of balls in the basket it may be uh, different uh, different outcomes can happen it may be red blue or green it may happen so that kind of experiment, different events and, this, and, and the identical events when we are taking the identical events from that and different outcomes are happening that are called as random experiments and then we come to elementary event when we toss a coin it may happen tail or head any one of it so one of the event any one of the event is called as elementary event maybe uh, just we have taken one of the event from it it may be, it may be uh, like uh, uh, we toss a coin a single coin we toss a single coin 
Then what is the result, baby? Hat or the next result will be tail. So the each result is called an elementary event. One of the result is called as elementary event. The next compound event. In the compound event, we have like two experiments together when we are doing like. We toss uh, in, the, in the case of the roll a dice. We have rolled a dice. We have taken a dice. When we have rolled dice, when we roll the dice, and the thing should be happen with the ease and even number. Even number, we need to get an even number in that in this experiment we roll the dice, we need to get an even number, we will get two, four, or six. Then these are the even numbers of the dice. So we'll get it, we'll get even. We get a number of two or four or six. It's a multiple events are happening here. So this kind of experiment is known as this kind of event is known as compound event when we are uh, getting a, a multiple events in one experiment like uh, the result may be two the result the result is two four six and three numbers here and this kind of thing and this kind of event is known as compound event and in the Previously, we have taken the elementary event when we toss two coins and head head and head tail. We have taken from the two experiments also uh, uh, is is called as compound event when we are taking when we are taking two uh, coins and roll uh, toss them. Then we'll be getting the results. What we are getting from it is also known as compound event and uh, favorable elementary events. Let's come for favorable elementary events in that we roll a dice. When we roll a dice from it, and we need to get a odd number from it. So we'll be getting. We roll one of the time, we roll the dice and then we got first time one, and the second time two, third time four, three, fourth time four, fifth time five and six and differently we got all times, all the eight times we have done, some of the times we have done. From that, from that, the results are when we have rolled the dice, the results are so side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we got actually we need to get we need to get, when we roll the dice we need to get an odd number and then, odd numbers are only 3, 1, 3, 5 and 7 but we got a numbers which are not needed for us that are 2, 4, 6 and 8 also so the numbers which we are getting in favor of us was the numbers which we need for us when we dice or when we roll a dice and that kind of events are known as favorable elementary element favorable elementary events. So roll a dice getting the odd number getting odd number we got we get odd numbers along with the even numbers sometimes we may get even numbers we know that we get a tail or head or not either tail will get or head will get that so there is a possibility that what can happen Either head or tail, we know it. Before only, 
the tail of course or head of course there. So this kind of outcomes which we know before on that uh, what can happen. This kind of events are called equally likely events. Like for other example, when we throw a dice, on the dice there are six numbers that are one, two, three, four, five, six, six numbers. And we roll the dice there. When we roll the dice, the a number on it is either one, two, three, four, five, six, any number on it. So there is a possibility to get these all the numbers. We know it before. So this kind of events we call as equally likely events. So let us take some other example. We have taken some different color balls like uh, two white color balls and two black color balls and a basket. When we have taken one of the ball from it, there is a possibility to get white and a uh, uh, white color or black color ball. So we know it's what is happening, what we can take from the basket, either black color or white color. So in another situation, we have four white color balls and there is only black color ball in the basket. So what we can understand here, there is more possibility that to get white color ball than black color ball because there are four white colors there and only one black color ball there so there is more possibility to get white color ball here so at this kind of events are called as not equally likely because there is more possibility there to get the white ball because there are four white balls in the basket and there is only one black color ball in the basket and there is more possibility to get white color ball that kind of events this kind of events are called as not equally likely events and uh, now let us take some other situation we have a basket the same thing we have a basket in the basket there are two different color balls that are a uh, green colored ball and two green colored balls and two red colored balls green color and red color balls so is there is possibility to get white color ball from it no there is no possibility because the reason is we have only green color and red color balls in the basket there is no possibility to get the white color ball in the basket because we don't have anything there in the basket white color ball we don't have that's the reason there is no possibility to get white color ball from the basket when there are two colors in the basket that is green color and red color. Let us take some other example. When we roll a dice, we know that we get in numbers on it are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These numbers, 6 numbers, we'll get it. So any one of the, any one of the number can occur there. So, let me ask one question, is there any possibility to get a number 7 on dice? Is there any possibility? Yes, it's not possible. The reason is, we don't have number 7 on the dice. That's the reason there is no possibility there to get a 7 on the dice. So this kind of events are called as impossible events. So we have discussed three topics that are equally likely, not equally likely and impossible events. Let's take off clearly that is uh, equally likely. There are uh, some of the things like uh, some of the balls in the basket be equally likely like two uh, different color balls are there that are two uh, green color, two red color or two white or two black equally the number of equally balls are there then when we have taken one of the uh, ball from it there is an equal possibility to 
get the ball, particular ball, and we fall that is equally likely. Or when we, when we roll a dice, uh, there is a possibility to, to get either one or two, three, four, five, six, any one of it that is called equally likely. Or in, in case of a coin, uh, we know that uh, if we don't uh, toss a coin uh, on the sand, other than that sand, uh, on a smooth surface, and uh, then there is a possibility to get a head or tail, and that events are called as equally likely. Now, let's come to it, not equally likely, there is more possibility for one experiment, one of the uh, outcome, that is, uh, then that kind of events are called not equally likely. For example, in the basket, there are four uh, green colored balls, and there is only one uh, red colored ball, and there is more possibility to get green colored balls, that is not equally likely, because uh, for a green co colored ball, there is more possibility. So this is not equally likely, there is impossible event that is, it is not possible to get either head or tail, other than the head or tail, and then uh, in a coin, there is nothing to get or um, any other experiment. Um, let us take a dice, in the dice, there is a possibility to get one to six numbers only, there is no possibility to get seven on the dice, so that is an impossible event.